29 years ago, audiences got their first look at a sly cat known as the Pink Panther. Since then, we've seen him many times in sequel after sequel, but we've never heard so much as a purr from the Panther. All that is about to change for a new cartoon series based on the crafty feline. This is the Pink Panther as he is best remembered, always getting into trouble and never talking. I'll save Tommy. He's super. He's pink. Yes, I'm super pink. Now, after three decades of silence, a new series of Pink Panther cartoons is giving the pink one a voice, that of Matt Frewer. Let's see. Removing large objects. This is just a sort of slightly more energized version of my voice. It's not. It's not really a, a character, you know, that I that I put on. It's um, you know, it's it's more or less my own voice, but just sort of more pumped up. Did you say treasure? Okay. The producers of the new cartoon thought kids nowadays would want to hear what the Panther has to say. Executive producer Mark Young thinks it is an improvement. We wanted to tell more story. And it seemed imperative by having more story, having more events, to have our hero be able to express himself and ask questions and have remarks. And why the hell is he pink anyway? No Frewer, best known as Max Headroom and for his series Doctor Doctor, was chosen for a certain youthful cockiness in his voice. Oddly enough, he wasn't that familiar with the cartoon, but he thinks he now has the character down. And when you're that color, <laughs> it's hard to get through life without a smile. Stop! Criminals, there's no escape. Ah, uh, look, boss, a pink guy. Producers auditioned over 300 actors for the voice of the Pink Panther before settling on Matt Frewer. As for Matt, he says he's enjoying the gig, but doing the snarls and growls, he says, are the hardest part.